Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Music with Todd Ledbetter and we are back with another Steve Wilson song. Now this was a song that was uh, suggested by one of the listeners that have been listening to the Porcupine Trees and the Steve Wilson uploads that I've been doing recently and people are real excited about this band. I had no idea, like I've explained before, I kind of missed the whole boat on Steve Wilson and his uh, Porcupine Tree pro uh, project. So I'm super excited to delve into uh, material and songs right up my alley and the style of music that I just love. So I'm excited to hear this next song. Uh, and this is from the hands, the hand cannot erase album. And it's the title track. It's the second song on the on the uh, 2015 release. So we're going to get right into it with Steve Wilson's Hand Cannot Erase. Let's check it out.
Well, well, there's several things I really like about that song. First of all, the production is great. I mean, the headphones, I love the way, you know, he just starts out a simple, the simplest way with just picking his guitar. It's very common. I've, I've noticed in a lot of the songs that I've been hearing, he does that picking. I like that. I do that a lot too when I play guitar. Um, and uh, almost like finger picking, or, or not finger picking, but picking with a pick. Um, really like that. The bass was great. There was some really good lines in the bass. Uh, I like the, uh, the lyrical content and uh, the way that it built up and built up. And then it came in really powerful. And, you know, it wasn't out of place. It just all, it just built in section, section. And it just in, in, incrementally increased in intensity. And that was re really, really cool to me. The other thing that I noticed, I got through most of, most of the song and I realized, okay, this is an odd time signature. I'm, and I was trying to count it. And I was like counting, I was like counting one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. So whatever time signature that is, um, it, it was very, very odd, but I didn't notice it and because it was so seamless, you know, this, the drums were just so seamless. And uh, until later on, I started, I started thinking about it. It's like, that doesn't sound like four, four, you know, and that doesn't sound like, uh, uh, you know, uh, any other like common, common uh, time signature. <laughs> I'm drawing a blank. Three, four. Doesn't sound like four, four. Doesn't sound like three, four. So it was one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. So I don't know what that is. So that's four, six, or, or I don't know what that is. <clears throat> uh, two, three. I don't know, one, two, one, two, one, two, checking, checking, checking. Uh, anyway, so I thought that was pretty cool because it was pretty seamless and the drums sounded great and a lot of, you know, just really good um, uh, uh, drum drum fills. And there was a couple of times where they really accented on that, uh, on that one, two, you know, and then kind of snipped it quick with not only lyrically, but also with the drum beat. Uh, so very cool song. I liked a lot of the elements of that. It's probably, I can't wait to hear more of the album because I'm sure it just, you know, fits very nicely uh, in the playability of this album. So I've never heard anything from it. So that's the first time I've heard this. Uh, I do like Steve Wilson. Um, it's, a, it's a real treat because there's a similarity to Steve Wilson and I'm not going to, I don't really, from what I've heard, um, it's a little different than Porcupine Tree, but but still, even though the songs that Steve Wilson's solo album, um, the songs are, are different, there's still sort of, you know, that feeling that, okay, it's Steve Wilson. You can tell his style of writing. There's a few elements to his that I'm starting to pick up on that seem very common in the way he plays and the way he writes. Um, had some good background vocals there and harmonies I really like. And I just really like his, his gentle voice. I mean, that was just a real gentle singing voice but even in the harder edge songs that i've heard his gentle he's not like growling or screaming it still fits with a hard edge you know but since he kind of uh plays the whole uh spectrum it just it just works for him and uh, i really like that all right hey let me know what you think about steve wilson if you like this album if you've heard it if you want to hear anything else off this album let me know uh, give me a little insight on uh, who's in there, who's playing and what's going on if you want to. If you, It seems like there's a lot of people that know a lot about Porcupine Tree and Steve Wilson. So I'm really learning a lot over this past week. So we'll check you guys next time. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I sure appreciate it. I appreciate your comments and your subscription, uh, subscribing to the channel and remember to push the bell and get all the notifications and uh, and we will see you guys next time. Oh yeah. And check out my Patreon too. Cause I got some special stuff going on there. Um, it's pretty new Patreon. Um, and I got my first, uh, I got my first subscriber. I will admit it's a friend of mine, but, uh, it's still kind of cool to, to see that kind of get launched off. So if you want to go over there and check it out, you don't have to pay anything. It's, it's free and you can watch what I got going on over there too, as well. All right. Thank you so much guys. And we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.